Danny from the Pleasant Hills Public Library, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today for STEAM Stories. Have you figured out what we're talking about today? It's bubbles! Bubbles can be found almost everywhere. You'll see bubbles underwater, in a soda, maybe when you're doing the dishes or playing with soapy bubble solution. Some animals even form bubbles to help them breathe underwater. A floating bubble is quite different from a bubble that is under the water because it has gas inside it, but also outside it. Have you ever wondered why bubbles are round? Well, bubbles are spherical because of a force called surface tension. Surface tension acts like an invisible piece of elastic on the surface of all the liquids. A bubble that is floating in the air has both an inside and an outside surface, so the two surface tension forces are pulling it into that round shape. The circle is the shape with the lowest surface area, and therefore the bubble is strongest if it's in a circle and less likely to pop. But popping bubbles sure is a lot of fun, isn't it, friends? And now, friends, let's read our title story, Bubble Trouble, by Margaret May, illustrated by Polly Dunbar, and read today with permission from Hewton Harcourt Mifflin Publishing. Little Mabel blew a bubble, and it caused a lot of trouble. Such a lot of bubble trouble in a bibble-bobble way. For it broke away from Mabel as it bobbled across the table, where it bobbled over Baby and wafted him away. The baby didn't quibble. He began to smile and dribble, for he liked the wibble wobble of the bubble in the air. But Mabel ran for cover as the bubble bobbled above her, and she shouted out for Mother, who was putting up her hair. At the sudden cry of trouble, Mother took off at the double, for the squealing left her reeling, made her terrified and tense. Saw the bubble for a minute, with the baby bobbing in it, as it bibbled by the letter box and bobbled across the fence. In her garden, Crystal Gribble had begun to cry and cavil at her lazy brother Greville reading novels in his bed. But she bellowed, Gracious Greville, as she groveled on the gravel, when the baby and the bubble bibble bobbled overhead. In a garden folly, Tybal and his jolly mother, Sybil, sat and played a game of Scrabble, shouting shrilly as they scored. But they both began to babble and to scrabble with the Scrabble as the baby in the bubble bibble bobbled by the board. Then crumpled Mr. Cooper and his wife, a crabby couple, sat arm in arm to hobble and to squabble down the lane. But the baby in the bubble turned their hobble to a joggle as they raced away like rockets, and they never limped again. Even feeble Mrs. Threbble, in a muddle with her needle, matching pink and purple patches for a pretty patchwork quilt. When her older sister told her, tossed the quilt across her shoulder as she set off at a totter in her tattered tartan kilt. At the shops, a busy rabble met to gossip and to gabble, started gibbering and goggling as the bobble bobbled by. Mother, hand in hand with Mabel, flew as fast as she was able, very troubled lest the bubble burst or vanish in the sky. After them came Greville Gribble in his nightshirt with his novel, all about a haunted hovel, held on high above his head. Followed by his sister, Crystal, though her boots had made a blister, then came Tybal pulling Sybil with the scrabble for a sled. After then, the couple couple came coverting at the double, then a jogger, quite a slogger, joined the crowd who called and coughed. Up above the puzzled people, way up towards the chapel steeple, rose the bubble with the baby, slowly lifting up a lot. There was such a fum -a diddle Mabel huddled in the middle. Canon Dapple left the chapel, followed by the chapel choir. And the treble singer Abel threw an apple core at Mabel as the baby in the bubble bobbled up a little higher. Oh, they giggled and they goggled until all their brains were boggled as the baby in the bubble rose above the little town. 
With the problem, let us grapple, murmured kindly Can and Dapple. And the problem we must grapple with it is bringing Baby down. Now, let Mabel stand on Abel, who could stand and turn on Tybal, who could stand on Gribble Gribble, who could stand upon the wall, while the people from the shop all stand to catch them if they topple, then perhaps they'll reach the bubble, saving Baby from a fall. But Abel, though a treble, was a rascal and a rebel, fond of getting into trouble when he didn't have to sing. Pushing quickly through the people, Abel clambered up the steeple with nefarious intentions and a pebble in his sling. Abel quietly aimed the pebble past the steeple of the chapel at the baby in the bubble wibble wobbling way up there. And the pebble burst the bubble, so the future seemed to fizzle for the baby boy who grizzled as he tumbled through the air. What a moment for a mother as her infant plunged above her. There was groans and gasps and gargles from the horror-stricken crowd. Sybil said, upon my honor, there's a baby who's a goner. And Crystal hissed with emphasis, it shouldn't be allowed. But Mabel, Tybal, Greville, and the jogger, Chris and Neville, didn't quiver, didn't quaver, didn't drivel, shrivel, or wilt. But as one, they made a swivel, and with action firm but civil, they devised Mrs. Threbble of her pretty patchwork quilt. Oh, what calculated catchwork. Baby bounced into the patchwork, where his grizzles turned to giggles and to wiggles of delight. And the people stared dumbfounded as he bobbled and rebounded, till the baby boy was grounded and his mother held him tight. And the people there still prattle, there's a lot of tittle-tattle, for the glory in the story, young and old folk, old and gray, of how wicked trouble Abel triple troubled with his pebble, but how Mabel and some others saved her brother and the day. Can you imagine being trapped in a bubble? Ah! And now, friends, let's go back outside to learn how to make really large bubbles. To do this, you will need two sticks of approximately the same size and a long piece of string that you can tie in a circle. So let's go see. And now, friends, we are going to attempt to make a very large bubble. Probably not a large enough bubble to hold a baby, but maybe a large bubble nonetheless. To do this, you need sticks and yarn and a container of bubble solution. So let's see if we can do it. I think it's going to be big enough for a baby. Oh, it popped. Let's try again. The secret is to control and make sure the bubble doesn't pop. Whoa! That's big enough to hold. Did you see that bubble, friends? It was huge. Let's that was try big again. enough to hold one or two babies. One or two babies. is a lot of fun, whether they're small or large. And usually bubbles are just in a circular shape, but in this story, something happens to the bubbles. So let's find out. This is called Bubbles, written and illustrated by Kit Chase and read today with permission of Penguin Random House. Kangaroo loved to blow bubbles. One day, she saw some mysterious bubbles, so she followed the bubble trail and found Koala. Hello, said Kangaroo. Koala didn't say hello. Koala climbed the tree instead. Hello, Kangaroo called. Koala still didn't say a word. Kangaroo took a lollipop out of her pocket, but Koala didn't want it. She took out a pinwheel. Koala didn't want that either. 
bother, said Kangaroo, slowly walking away. Kangaroo sat down to think and blow bubbles. And soon, some bubbles floated by again. Kangaroo and Koala blew friendly bubbles to each other. They blew small bubbles and big bubbles, crocodile bubbles and tiger bubbles. It was a happy bubble party. But suddenly the bubbles began to stick together and they grew bigger and bigger and even bigger. The bubbles had turned into a great big bubble monster. And it was heading right towards Kangaroo. Yikes, squawked Koala. Help, squealed Kangaroo. All of a sudden, Koala felt brave. Let's go get that bubble monster, said Koala. Kangaroo and Koala looked around. The bubble monster was gone. Hello, said Kangaroo. Hello, said Koala. Kangaroo had bubble gum in her pocket. And they blew bubbles happily ever after. So in that story, the bubbles stuck together to make different shapes. But Let's go learn how to make shape bubbles using the supplies in our steam kit. We have steam kits available for pickup in our lobby while supplies last that have all the supplies you will need to make a square bubble, a triangle bubble, and another bubble wand of your choosing. In our steam kits are instructions, 12 pipe cleaners, 18 pieces of straw cut to be approximately three inches long. It's really hard to cut straw straight, so some will be shorter and some will be longer. Sorry. And then the things you need to make your own bubble solution. Dish soap and some light corn syrup. So let's figure out how we make those different shaped bubble wands. Let's start with the triangle since it's a little bit easier. Let's pull out one pipe cleaner Take one of your straw pieces and thread it on. Bring it to near the end and then kind of fold that up a little bit. Put another one on. And another one. So you have three. Now we're going to take those three spots and fold them into the shape of a triangle. Take that extra part of the pipe cleaner and wrap it around. Ta-da! To make your pipe cleaner longer, take a different one and wrap it around the end of what was hanging out so that you now have a very long pipe cleaner. We're going to then thread two pieces of straw onto that very long pipe cleaner. And if your knot is a little hard to get over, mine is, um, you might have to smooth that out first. Ta-da! Sometimes you just need a little extra muscle. Do your second one. Then you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and you're going to thread it through the flat piece here and pull it tight so that you now have two triangles on top of each other like that. Then you're going to get one more piece of pipe cleaner, thread it through there and bring it up to make your pyramid. Now wrap that around, secure it in place and then Ta-da! You have a pyramid. If you'd like, you can add more pipe cleaner to give yourself a longer wand, but I think I'll leave mine just like that. Now let's learn how to make the square. It's a lot harder. Are you ready? In case you have trouble following along in the video, there's also this handy dandy paper picture instructions. That makes it a little easier to see step by step how you make these. But let's try. You ready? So just like with the triangle, we'll start with one piece of straw on our pipe cleaner, pull it close to the end, and bring that pipe cleaner up just a little bit to make a lip so the straw doesn't fall off. 
Oops, I didn't make a big enough flip. It fell right off. Let me try that again. All right, and then you're going to put on another piece and another piece and another piece. Now before you put on that last piece, it might be a good idea to make your pipe cleaner longer, just like we did with the triangle, so that you have lots of pipe cleaner to work with. So now I have all four pieces on there. We'll get it over my knot. We're going to shape it into the square. Take that little lip and fold it around. See, now I have a square. And now with our long one, we're going to thread on three pieces of straw. One, two, and three. Then we're going to loop our pipe cleaner through the opposite end there. Mm -hmm. Oops, you know what? I need to make this pipe cleaner longer before I do that because otherwise I'm gonna run out of pipe cleaner. So let me loop that through. All right, try again. I'm gonna loop it, loop it, loop it, loop it, and pull. Ooh, this part might be a little tricky to get through. See, this is a tricky one, friends, but I believe in you. I think you guys can do it. All right, so now you should have two squares side by side like that. Once you have your two squares side by side, we're gonna add two more pieces on to our straw. One, two. We're going to pull up our one side here, see what I'm doing, and thread our pipe cleaner through there. So now we have three squares. Let's go ahead and add some more to our pipe cleaners because we're gonna need it. And we're gonna do the same thing, one, two. So once you have your one, two, you're going to thread it through the bottom opposite side. Pull it out. So now you should have three squares, but our one side is still missing. So we're going to thread our pipe cleaner back up through the top those muscles. All this threading helps it be extra strong. Get one more pipe cleaner. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it around. Your last piece of straw, put it on through, push it over your knot. That's always the hardest part, huh, friends? There we go. Got it. And then you can pick whichever side you want to thread it through. I think I'll do this side because the other side has a knot sticking out and that's gonna be hard to get it through. And now you should have a cube. But before you finish, make sure to wrap that pipe cleaner around to hold. And you can even make a little loop if you have enough extra like I do for a handle. And ta-da, you have made a square. Now, to make our bubble solution, we're going to pour the two supplies that were in your kit. So. Uh, two tablespoons of dish soap and one tablespoon of light corn syrup with a cup of water into a large container. Now for our shape of bubbles, it's best if you have a container that is taller than it is wide. So let's go back outside and see if we can make these cool shaped bubbles. Now that you have made your shape wands, it's time to try to make some shape bubbles. I realized when I was getting ready that we may not have provided you enough supplies to make your own bubble solution because you need enough bubble solution to fully cover your shape. If that's the case, a lot of it depends on the size of your container. Just add some dish soap to the water, liquid dish soap, and you want it to be bubbly but not overflowing with bubbles. And the most important part is that your shapes are fully submerged in the con solution of whatever container you pick. Now for the square, let's try it once. Oh, and it's even gonna work on the first try. Do you see that, friends? We have created a square bubble inside of our square. So we have a cube whoop, that has a square on each side. The trick to this one is to make sure it's fully submerged and then very slowly lift it up. Oh, the wind popped that one. Now, if you blow bubbles from this, they're still going to be round because of that surface tension. Now, those didn't blow very well, 
but you can create a square bubble inside your cube. How cool is that? Now my triangle one seems to have got a little lost. Let's try it out. It's a little easier to work and smaller too. You can see there we have created a triangle pyramid bubble. Well, the wind's gonna try to blow it now, just like with the square, if it blows, it will turn into a circle, despite whatever shape it started in. Pretty cool, huh, friends? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? We would love to see pictures or even videos of you making shape bubbles. Feel free to send them to pleasanthills at einetwork.net or post them to our special Facebook group, Pleasant Hills Library Virtual Programming. Well, that's the end of today's STEAM Stories, friends, but we'll be back in two weeks with the story Anno's Sundial. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you real soon. Bye.